What's up guys, thanks for tuning into this channel, welcome to Apex. A lot of you must be searching for a Bluetooth wireless earphones in the budget segment. We have many options in the market but a very few good brands come to our mind. We have Xiaomi's Mi neckband Bluetooth earphones, we have Realme Buds wireless and the recently launched OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. All these wireless earphones fall in the budget segment which is below rupees 2000 and certainly they offer value for money. Now let's quickly take a look at what each of these earphones offer and in the end let's decide which one we should consider buying. Keep watching till the end and you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah please do go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Now let's dive into it. First of all we need to understand which specifications are most important to consider while comparing these earphones. Price is not the deal breaker here. The key specs we need to look at are battery life, driver size and IP ratings. Of course there are a lot of other features offered by these earphones which are really great. An earphone driver is usually in the range of 8mm to 15mm in diameter while a headphones driver ranges from 20mm to 50mm in diameter. Driver size determines the loudness of the earphone and the bass clarity to some extent. But this does not mean that the bigger driver size offers better sound, but to some extent this is correct. Now let's compare the battery. Xiaomi's neckband Bluetooth earphone offers about 8 hours of playback with 80% volume. They have put a condition up there saying that 8 hours it will last with 80% of volume. When it comes to Realme Buds, Realme Buds Wireless offers 12 hours of battery life in a single charge. When it comes to OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z, it offers about 20 hours which is really cool and it also offers warp charge technology. When it comes to battery life, OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z seems to be a clear winner here. The second parameter is the driver. If you love listening to music, obviously you expect the earphones to offer a decent effect, isn't it? When it comes to Xiaomi's neckband, I could not find the details on the size of the driver neither in their official website nor in any other third party websites. So if you guys have any information on this, you can mention that in the comment section below. When it comes to Realme Buds Wireless, it offers 11.2mm driver and when it comes to OnePlus, it offers 9.2mm driver. It seems like Realme Buds Wireless offers a slightly bigger driver, but like I said, driver size is not the only parameter which affects the sound quality, but we should certainly consider it. The next important parameter is IP rating. Again, no details available for Xiaomi's neckband, so I'm assuming that it does not offer any IP rating. Realme Buds has IPX4 rating, which means water splashes should not be a problem. Now, when it comes to OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z, it offers IP55 dust and water splash resistance. Obviously, OnePlus offers a better IP rating here. Apart from these important features, all these earphones do come equipped with Bluetooth 5.0 with a 10 meter range. Realme and OnePlus offer magnetic connection and uh, the OnePlus also offers additional features like low latency mode, warp charge and quick switch. Alright, now it's time to decide which earphone should you be buying. This is just my opinion guys, all these are subjective, you can make your own choice. But considering all the features that we have compared, it becomes an obvious choice to go for OnePlus Bullet Z in my opinion. We are able to compare the other two wireless earphones with OnePlus Bullets Z is because it's falling within sub 2000 rupees category. The predecessors of OnePlus Bullets used to cost more earlier and now OnePlus has been able to crack this price with some compromises. They have not mentioned about aptX HD support or Qualcomm's CVC noise cancellation features in this. Anyways, if you are an average user and uh, mind the cost, then OnePlus seems to be the best among all these three earphones. Another point to note is we do have some leaks on Realme Buds Wireless Pro neckband. We just have to wait and see whether there's going to be any improvements in them. Alright, now you let me know your choice and your opinion in the comment section below. That's all in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.